Hi Aries, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and why they're being distant with you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. Now these are going to be things you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future. However, the focus is going to be for the remainder of October 2024. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The person on Aries mind, show me why they're being distant with Aries. Why are they being distant with Aries? Ooh, a lot of things were, okay, so there's a lot of passion, a lot of fire in this situation. Um, first off, they feel like things are happening way too fast, which is making it very challenging for them to slow down and take things slow. So they feel like, like they're falling for you, falling in love with you with that nine of cups at the bottom of the deck, and it's all happening too fast that it's, it's kind of freaking them out or it's making them feel like this is too much all at once, um, even though things feel really good. But there's also the fact that some of you had an argument about um, different things that were said, caused an argument, and they feel like you got defensive, and so they're backing off and distancing themselves from you uh, because they don't want drama. Um, so I do have the Eight of Wands, I have the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So I do have Leo energy as well as Sagittarius and also Pisces that comes out so far. Let's go ahead and clarify that eight of, of wands here. Yeah, so the Knight of Swords came out almost in reverse. So I'm just going to show you exactly how it came out. There was a lot exchanged here. Um, there was a lot of things exchanged that were not so good that caused some complications, some arguments here. And it was through messages and they just want to be able to take their time. They don't want to have to rush towards anything. They want to learn more um, or they wanted to learn more before they get too involved because whatever this was was very triggering. But there's also the fact that where things are happening too fast between the two of you, which is how they feel, that um, it's making them overthink things and it's making their mind go in a bunch of different places, especially if they are working on studying, like trying to finish their education in some way to better their career, or they've started a new job and that's what their focus is supposed to be on. They feel like they've gotten pulled away from what's really important about their financial situation and like trying to better themselves in that way as well. Um, so I do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy that comes out let's go ahead and clarify that five of wands here they feel that it is too challenging to have a relationship also that you know those of you that had a discussion and um, the argument was about being together or being in a relationship they felt that that was too much for them to really think about right now we have the 10 of pentacles that comes out in reverse. They don't feel they have the means, like the financial means or stability in their life to give you some kind of relationship here. They want to be successful or they want things to be equal before that happens. And they feel like it's just too much to deal with, even though they really like you. Um, those of you where things are happening really fast, they just feel like it's definitely too challenging, even though you two are a perfect match. There's also the fact that um, somebody's family Family does not like the other person or they definitely perceive it that way so they might feel like your family would not accept them or it would just be very 
um, challenging to have a commitment at this time in their life with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. So I do have Cancer as well as, um, I was going to say Taurus, not Taurus. Sorry, I have Cancer as well as Virgo energy that comes out. So let's go ahead and clarify that Seven of Wands. Also, they were in a past relationship that was a lot of drama. And so where you two had an argument about where things are going or a discussion about it, and they might've taken it as an argument, it really triggered things for them to be like, whoa, I can't do this. Um, which shows that they are not over the situation because the five of cups comes out as clarification to that seven of wands. So they're defensive about talking about their past because it feels really hurtful and disappointing of what didn't work out. And they, they feel like they're better off when they're single, they know who they are and they're working on themselves and they're trying to be more independent. They didn't have that whenever they were with somebody else prior to you. And so it definitely takes them off course of their independence when they are in a relationship because they're not entirely healed from this other past situation that's very triggering to them. Um, the fact that it feels like their family would not be accepting of you, Aries, because their family really likes the ex and it would just cause a lot of complications at this time, and which tells me that it feels very fresh, very new of this past relationship that they got out of. And so they're just not ready to um, be in another relationship at this time, even though they like you, even though they feel these feelings for you. And I do have Scorpio energy as well as more Virgo energy that comes out here. It's just very challenging when this person's trying to figure out things for themselves. And I get that you had a conversation where you ask them, what are we doing? What is it you're looking for? You know, I'm looking for a relationship. And a lot of those messages that were exchanged made them feel like it's just too much and it doesn't feel like now is the right time for them to have this kind of relationship or even to set up the expectation or high hopes for you that they could have a relationship that they're ready for it because they're still dealing with something else that's still bothering them um that they're just like i'm not ready for that i just want time to be single and, and figure things out so you know this is why they're being distant with you right now but let's go ahead and get some messages and find out what they're holding back from telling you okay so what is this person holding back from telling aries They may have told you that they were ready for a relationship because the bottom of the deck is I regret lying to you. So not being honest from the get go that they were not ready for a relationship. However, Aries, what I really get from this as well is that they felt they might be. And not only that, they really like you. And it's, it's tough because they felt like maybe this will be different. And then they started to realize that they weren't ready for a relationship just yet, that they really need to focus on their own independence, that they need to, to carry themselves forward in their situation before they can give their, their heart to anybody else. They need to work on healing some past situations as well as taking care of themselves financially. They just feel like they don't have that right now. And um, if they have to balance having a relationship and work they're going to choose work because they could lose their job and so that's why they feel like it's just too much and the last relationship put them on the brink of losing their job so they don't want to go through that so i can't stop thinking about you you know comes out as the first message that i pulled here okay and so you are constantly on their mind they definitely think about you a lot they're really into you. It's just they are not ready for something um, concrete right now because they feel very scattered and they feel like things are just here and there and all over the place that they can't 
focus on a relationship right now. You were the best thing in my life. And this is something that they truly feel that you um, gave them a lot of hope where they, they didn't feel that before. You even helped them to start healing from the past situation or find some kind of healing from the past situation that there is you know, potential for something better than what they went through in a past relationship that did not work out for them. Now, I know that's not what you're looking for and you really wanted to see where things were gonna go with this person. That's why you asked these questions and you felt you two were on the same page, but it became very challenging here. They still do care about you, but they've gotta have time to themselves. And I know that, you know, you want a relationship so this person would understand if you choose to move on and that you are not going to wait for them and they get that they're very mature about it but they've started to distance themselves because they don't want the thing about it is uh, they're afraid to contact you they do not want to have arguments they don't want memories with you of um you two arguing or having any kind of memory of a dispute and they want you to always remember them in the way that you met them and um they also feel that you might need a little time because this did upset you or it made you like what do you mean why you know why are you doing this and they do need to face the music of they need to tell you i'm sorry i'm just not ready for a relationship if they did not make that clear um, but they also need to follow up with the fact and be true to their feelings for you, that they do feel something deeply for you. But right now they have to get back to self-discovery of who they are and where life is conspiring for them to be the best version of themselves so they can be ready for what comes next. So I bury myself in work to forget you. So they just try and stay busy because they feel like you might not want to speak to them right now. They know that they lied to you and it upset you that the situation that happened here, they're like, I just, I can't do this to Aries, so I've got to move on. But they really do need to speak up and tell you how they feel because there was a lot of passion and, you know, fiery emotions of things that said, defensiveness happening, you know, arguments or disagreements about, no, yeah, I care about you. This is what I want. I know you care about me. But when it comes to talking about what happened to them in the past, they're not very open. They definitely put their guard up and they get defensive like, nope, I'm not going to talk about the past. Uh, one, they don't want to talk bad about their ex. And secondly, they don't want to show like comparison in any way or they don't want you to think there's any kind of comparison or that they're still stuck on their ex they're not they're just trying to heal from that situation and there's still some things that are triggering them that they've got to work through in life so um aries this is what i have for you if it resonates with your situation go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up everyone have a wonderful rest of your day bye